So, where are all these Joe Rogan clip channels coming from? Now, I watch clips from Joe Rogan's podcast pretty regularly. You know, they're great to put on for background noise while you're doing other things. But the last couple of months, I've been seeing Joe Rogan clips everywhere. And at first, I just kind of brushed it off. I didn't think much of it, but then I realized I was clicking on them more and more, sometimes by accident, because they look exactly like Joe Rogan's channel. And with YouTube the way it is, when you click on something a few times, you're usually going to get bombarded with that type of content. Now, it's not all negative with these channels. I don't listen to Joe Rogan on Spotify because I really don't use Spotify. I have the YouTube app on my phone. I have YouTube Premium, and I usually just stick with that. And then on top of that, the actual Joe Rogan channel here on YouTube will only upload so many clips from their show because they want you to go over and listen to the full thing on Spotify. And I get that. But for those of us that aren't willing to do that, we have to settle for whatever the official channel puts out. And that's where all these clip channels come into play. Because they usually have stuff that we miss out on unless you listen to the whole thing. But it still got me thinking, where are all these channels coming from? And why did they all seemingly spring up around the same time? So I took about 20 minutes or so and I kept refreshing my YouTube homepage. After each refresh, I would scroll down and within the first 20 or so results, I would find another Joe Rogan clip channel. And I'm not joking. I would just refresh my homepage and within the first 20 videos that popped up, there would be another one. So I started clicking on the channels just to see how similar they all looked. And the first one that popped up was this one. James Brown's wild interview, Rogan and Diaz react by Clip Monarchy, which has almost half a million views. Now, the channel itself only has 2,230 subscribers and the recent views on it aren't great. But the farther back you scroll, they start getting views in the tens of thousands. They also have some shorts uploaded, but there's no playlists, no community posts, and no recommended channels either, which is sort of a red flag. Then we get to the About Me section, and we see that this channel was created March 29th of this year. And in that short amount of time, they've gotten 2.1 million channel views, which is really good for a channel of that size. But in the description it says, for any business inquiries, which is kind of a laughable statement, considering all you do is upload Joe Rogan clips, but whatever. For any business inquiries or questions about our content, feel free to drop us an email at clipmonarchy at gmail.com. Now, I actually did send them an email because I wanted to get more information, but surprise, surprise, they didn't respond. Now this, this shocks me. So then I refreshed the homepage again, and let's see what popped up next. A channel by the name of History Drops came up, and they had a video titled Ancient 1000 Ton Block Mystery. It also had a very snazzy thumbnail that looks exactly like Joe Rogan's thumbnails. That's interesting. But then when we click on the channel, the name changes from History Drops to Joe Rogan Ita No, 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 no. Joe Rogan Italia. How's that, huh? <laughs> but we see that they have 43,000 subscribers, which is about 2 million more than I have, but whatever. The recent views aren't doing too good, but once we scroll down, we start getting into the half a million range. They also have a few shorts uploaded, but here's where we get to something interesting. They have two community posts up, and the most recent one is from 11 days ago and starts off with, Hello fam, unfortunate." And by the way, what family are you talking about? You don't know any of these people. You f I just got my monetization from YouTube back last week. I'm trying not to get demonetized again, but this shit's driving me crazy. Let's just read the post. Hello fam. Unfortunately on Friday, my Google and YouTube account were hacked. I have gotten back everything now, but I just lost all material, which doesn't make any sense. So there will be a pause of a couple of days before I get a new video ready. I hope you guys understand. Stay safe out there. Whatever, man. Then the next post. Hello my incredible follow. <laughs> this makes me sick. By the way, that's how I'm going to start all my videos and posts from now on. Hello, my incredible followers. I have changed my YouTube name from Joe Rogan Best Of to History Drops. Then where the hell does Joe Rogan Italia come from? As I am a history buff and researcher, I am concentrating more on our incredible history and less on Joe Rogan. Well, what happened then? Because all I see is Joe Rogan clips on your channel. I will still be posting Joe Rogan shorts, but also my own videos with voiceover. I hope you all enjoy. Have a wonderful day. Well, apparently only 11 people had a wonderful day. We then go over to the About Me section and we see that the channel was created November. It says Belgium. Not even in Italy. What the f... 
The channel was created November 13th, 2022, has 25 million channel views, and it says, Joe Rogan Italia brings you the best videos and shorts of the Joe Rogan experience with Italian subtitles. You sneaky little, there's this get out of jail free card, I guess. In this channel, you will find the best videos and shorts of the mythical Joe Rogan Experience podcast. He interviews prominent personalities of our time. We have put Italian subtitles there for a more enjoyable viewing. So if you're from Italy and let's say you want to watch Joe Rogan's channel, does it automatically have subtitles on for you? I didn't even think about that. So technically this channel could be doing a service to people, but you know damn well they ain't doing it for that. Our videos are translated by Italian slash English native speakers in the hope of bringing you pleasant moments and information in a short time. We post regularly, time to edit and translate. What? We post regularly, time to edit and translate videos. Somebody translate that for me, please. We wish you a good viewing. And if you like our shorts and videos, subscribe now to not miss future videos. Good vision. What the hell did you just say to me? Good vision? And apparently they even have a TikTok link, which I did click on. I probably shouldn't have done that because it could have taken me anywhere, but it was a real TikTok page and they have a bunch of followers. But it's just more of the same. A bunch of short videos with generic crappy music on in the background, which I don't know if they do that to get around copyright or I really don't know. So we then go back to the roulette wheel and refresh our homepage once again. And we get JRE shorts. And this has got to be one of Joe Rogan's official pages, right? I mean, it looks exactly like it. The video title says, Insane Royal Rumble Botch. How Vince McMahon tore his quads. We then click on the channel and let's see what we got. 113,000 subscribers. And look at that. Videos with 2 plus million channel views. Now, I really wonder how this works. They have to be getting copyright claimed by Joe Rogan's company, right? If these people are making ad revenue off of the views alone, that would be insane. But there can't be any way YouTube is allowing this. Something's got to be going on. Now this channel also has shorts, playlists, a bunch of community posts, no channels recommended, and then the about me section. The channel was created January 1st of this year, has 76 million channel views, has links for Instagram, TikTok, and here we go. Alpha brain free trial. Now let's keep that in mind for later. The description says, on JRE Shorts, you will discover both long-form and short-form content deprived from the famous Joe Rogan podcast. The goal of this channel is to provide some of my favorite moments from the newest and previous podcast posted for my enjoyment and yours too, hopefully. So he's posting these for his own enjoyment. Get the... Uh, you know what I was going to say. This is simply a fan page. We finally get one of these that says they're a fan page and not associated with Joe Rogan. But you sure do have the Alpha Brain free trial link there. Let's go back to the roulette wheel for now. Next up is Daily Dose of Podcasts. And the title says, Just Joe and Joey Vibing to the Goat Song. And the video has 74,000 views. Now this channel only has 859 subscribers. And it doesn't seem to be doing too well outside of a random video here and there. They have a bunch of shorts uploaded, as well as a couple playlists, no community posts, or recommended channels. Then we get to the about me section and see that this channel was created April 11th, 2023. So it's barely a month old. And in that month, they've gotten 762,000 channel views. Now it says that they're from Thailand. <laughs> they could be, but honestly, I don't believe any of these locations. They're probably using a VPN and trying to hide anything that they can. They also have links for Instagram and TikTok. Now I didn't click on this link. I just Googled daily dose of podcast TikTok and a bunch of results came up, but None of them were for this channel. I'm sure they have a TikTok, but I bet it's just a generic shorts page with music and videos, just like the other one. But here the description says, Welcome to our Daily Dose of Podcast channel. We are dedicated to bringing you the most entertaining and thought-provoking clips from some of the most popular podcasts out there. Then why do you only upload Joe Rogan clips? With a variety of topics ranging from current events to pop culture, we've got something for everyone. I mean, that honestly sounds like they stole that from somewhere and just copy and pasted it. It sounds so generic. Our channel is perfect for those who love podcasts, but don't always have the time to listen to full episodes. We carefully select the most interesting and engaging clips to share with our viewers. So you can stay up to date on the latest opinions, news, and trends. Well, 
thank you for that. We take pride in providing high quality content that will keep you entertained, informed, and engaged. Again, who wrote this stuff? And look at this. Our team works hard to ensure that each clip is well curated and we're always on the lookout for the next big thing in the podcast world. Then why is it that in the 93 videos you have uploaded, it's nothing but Joe Rogan clips? That seems pretty odd to me. How come you don't have any of my videos up there, jerks? So if you're looking for a quick and easy way to stay informed and entertained, be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our community of podcast lovers. You won't want to miss a single clip. Now, this is homework for y'all. I want somebody in the comments to find where this came from because you know this is copy and pasted. Now, we're going to go back to the roulette wheel one more time. And here we have JRE+. Plus. Now, I know for a fact that this is the official Joe Rogan YouTube page, right? Well, maybe not. The video was titled Most Intense Grizzly Bear Fight and has 158,000 views in three days. And by the way, it also has Joe Rogan experience in the title. Gee, I wonder why you did that. Now, the channel has 181,000 subscribers and it uploads regularly and does very well. It has a couple of playlists and no community posts or recommended channels. Now, this one was created May 16th of 2017. So the channel is six years old, which doesn't match up with what we normally see, but when you take a look at the oldest upload from this channel, it's eight months ago. And again, it's nothing but Joe Rogan clips. Also, keep in mind that YouTube allows you to change your name anytime you want, so this channel could have been called anything and had God knows what uploaded to it. But back to the About Me section. It has 50 million channel views, which is pretty ridiculous. And it says, exploring the universe of the Joe Rogan experience. From the wisdom to the laughter, videos to get to know more about each guest, facts, trivia, and much more. So you sure are making it seem like you're connected to the official Joe Rogan channel, kind of like a behind the scenes thing. Subscribe and comment to see more, and then it has an email listed, joerexperienceplus at gmail.com. Now, I clicked on the Grizzly Bear video, and I went to the description, and we get free alpha brain trial again, along with something called free total human trial which sounds like something a kindergartner would make, but that made me think about the JRE Shorts channel, and I went back and clicked on one of their videos, and not only did they have the Alpha Brain link, they also had a Shroom Tech Sport Trial link, which is apparently on it affiliated, so what's really going on here? I went back and clicked on my favorite channel, the Joe Rogan Italia, and I played one of their videos, and I saw this in the description. We are now affiliated with VidIQ, as this YouTube channel tool has been incredible in getting me to 34k followers in just two months. If you would like to boost your knowledge and views, this is the best tool out there. So I googled vidIQ and I got this site, which says it's designed to boost your YouTube views. Also get free insights and guidance to keep your YouTube channel growing. I then scrolled down to some of the testimonials and take a look at this. Jade here says, before vidIQ, I woke up at 2am worried about my views. Now I don't get YouTube breakdowns. Oh my God. Are we going back to better help with YouTuber burnout? And I'm confident in my thumbnail and titles. Well, good for you, Jade. We then get Chad who says, vidIQ helps me in many ways. One is their video boost, which finds the most relevant keywords and tags. This is ridiculous, man. And then finally we get the spiffing Brit who says the AI description generator you son of a bitch, I knew it. I knew those descriptions weren't real. The AI description generator does a better job at seamlessly fitting in the key view boosting search engine optimization into the description than I can. I wonder if he even really wrote that or not. So I went to the Spiffing Brits YouTube channel because I was curious if the website was just taking random people's names and pictures. And no, he definitely uses the program. He has a video titled How to Exploit YouTube. And in the description, he plugs vidIQ and he says, I'm not sponsored by them, but I do, however, get 50% of all subscriptions. So I'm not sure how that's not being sponsored or advertised, but whatever. I kind of started getting a headache at this point because I just got tired of reading all this bullshit. So I wish I could wrap this up for you in a pretty little box, but I don't think I can. The best conclusion I can come up with, and this is just my speculation, is that all these channels are using these same programs and these search engine optimization quote unquote hacks. And then they're taking the most popular thing they can find, which is Joe Rogan clips. They're probably not making any ad revenue because I would assume Joe Rogan's channel copyright claims everything. So then they turn around and affiliate with products like Alpha Brain and VidIQ to take commissions. 
And then once the channel blows up enough, they probably either sell it off or remove all the Rogan content, keep their 1 million subscribers, and then just upload whatever bullshit they want. Which is kind of unfair for everybody else, but what can we really do? And before somebody else says, well, you can just do it too, no. Not everybody wants to do shady shit like that. But I guess this is just the YouTube world we live in. And keep in mind, this was only five Joe Rogan clip channels that I looked at. And I was able to find them all back to back to back like Drake by simply refreshing my YouTube homepage five times. So there's no telling how much is actually going on here. And to any channels that were featured in this video, I wasn't trying to slander you or anything like that. I was just trying to figure out where the hell all these Joe Rogan clip channels are coming from.